Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I've got another big uh, Epoch Capsule Toy haul here. In fact, I have another uh, another 10 in there, but they're repeats of other stuff that I wanted. And a couple of these are the same. Um, so I'm going to go for these. So what I've got here, I've got some 118 scale lockers that go on top of each other. One, two, three, I think it's five. And they come with different accessories for the little androids like shoes and whatnot. Two here of the... Uh, sort of skull things which go with the uh, 118 scale skull robot sort of skeleton androids and I'll put that into just a video so we can find this one they're really really good uh, and some other bits what is this one I think I've got a step ladder a stool ladder there's a bin there's a backpack um, and some and I think it's that another I don't know <laughs> and some other bits and bobs so I'm gonna go through these now and crack them open I'll start with the smaller ones. I'll save these ones for last. I think it'd be best for last. These ones I'm really looking forward to, but maybe they won't be best. We will see. So uh, some of these are lockers. I th I'm not sure they're all lockers. And I've got okay. Yep. That one's not a locker. So I'll do the lockers first. Very quickly, we'll show one, and then just look at the accessories with the others. No, no points in the same lockers again. Um, again, it's nice to have 118 accessories that scale well with all your other 118 uh, lines, good for your dioramas and so forth. So here we have look at that lovely little locker, which you can see little grooves and notches are stackable and they do open up and you've got two shelves inside. Very simple accessories here as I get some little white trainers. For the little androids, um, not these ones, the other androids, and I'll put the other androids up, which are really cool again, in suggested videos here. A bit like bowling shoes almost, sort of green and white there, still on the spoon, pretty cool. In fact, we can see the other things they come here, rather than opening them all up. So, we have green and white, red and white, blue and white, white, and then... Where's the other one? So, one is this one is what? It's like the letters or something. I'm not sure what that is on top. Let's have a look and see what this is on top of this one. Can't quite make it out in the picture. And also, I'll stack this locker with the one I op just opened just now and see how that looks and works. Okay, so this. It's like love letters. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite amusing. The little love letters you get here. A stack of love letters. So let's see how they stack up. Should be just a case of. That's the wrong way for a start. There we go. Oops, hello. Very easy. There we go. Stack in. That's too high. I've got five of these. Have I put in there? Three, four, five. We'll stack quite high. Probably I'd go four high. So I might be tempted by another three to get two rows. But that's pretty cool. I love the fact they open. You can put little bits inside, like your little some of your knives and some of your guns from your well your pistols anyway. From your 118 scale. Really rather cool. Okay, the other small one I had, which isn't part of the lockers. What is this? I can't remember. Uh, sometimes I order so many, so much stuff. I have no idea what it is when it comes. Particularly this stuff, and you can't see inside the packaging. So you'll be as surprised as I am. <laughs> well, I'll be surprised as you are. Uh, oh, that's it. It is a bag and bolt. That's rather cool again. So there is like a not oh, quite a briefcase. There is like a nice little, it's like a soap dispenser maybe? It's got like a dispensing top. There is some Chinese writing, but it's very tiny. I'm not sure the camera will pick it up. Have any of the, uh, was that Japanese writing? Maybe Japanese writing, sorry, since this is a Japanese tour now. If any of the subscribers can read it, please drop us a comment, let us know what it says. And then you have this case which does open. Look at that. 
little clip that opens and you can close it with the uh, plastic clip again and let's get an idea of scale on this as well and uh, let me see so again using one of these droids who is a good 18 scale size quite a big bag that's cool if i use um who else have I got close by okay fortnite black knight the handles are a bit far apart so they will struggle to hold both handles at the same time try this way also it's quite you know, quite tough because his fingers aren't so bendy okay there's one in yeah i don't think he'd hold both but he can hold one still looks pretty cool i'm not sure if a knight would have that that's a nice little accessory and it's a good size as well quite a big sort of a bag but still pretty cool okay next um it's just a trash can yes you can buy trash cans in 118 scale this is blue so i'll be repainting that in a distant future just to make it a bit more realistic i guess i could keep it blue okay take them here i'm not sure what the uh 45 or 40 like trash bags look at that just trash bag for your trash can how cool is that so we can look in it shows us the different trash bag trash cans and they have recycling ones as well i was tempted but decided not to get the recycling ones though maybe in the future i might do because it'd be quite cool for a diorama and the there we go the lid comes off Again, this time I use, let me use a Acid Rain Prospector. Get an idea for scale. Perfect, look at that scale. So well scaled for 118. Let's get the stand up first, I think. Oops, wait. Great, great scale. And it does clip on as well the uh, lid by twisting. Fantastic skill. I like that a lot. And the bags. And they fit in quite nicely. So, again, that's pretty cool. Another little cool diorama piece for your 118. Uh, next one, let's have a look. See what we have here. Okay, a nice little sort of a step ladder. Pretty cool. I do like that. Get these parts off the spoon. We quickly make this up. This won't take very long at all so we have feet and how do these connect and i just a push okay that's easy enough just a simple clip like so very easy you've got little latches so you can latch the ladder into place so it locks. You don't need actual figures falling off and hurting themselves. Uh, feet, uh, which way around the feet go? It doesn't specify that way, maybe. Oops, sorry. It has to be the other way, so there we go. Feet inwards. Or feet outwards, let me see. No, feet outwards is better. Mm -hmm. So here we go, feet are outwards. Again, it's made for their um, 
for their Androids. But the scale again is pretty cool. It's just a bit thin though. So you know, as you can stand on top. But my feet aren't all pushed in properly, so that's a bit problematic. It's not really very balanced that way. Uh, still not pushed in properly, one of them here. So if the feet are pushed in properly and this is stable, then she could stand. Oh, well, she can there. She can stand on top. So it's pretty cool to have a little step ladder too. I like that. Some steps. Uh, two more on these ones and get to the skull ones. Epoch do some great stuff for the 118 scale. So it's really nice to have this sort of stuff that's not all figure, figure, figure. They do do the, they do figures as well, such as the uh, droid I showed you, the skeleton droid and the other droids, and the uh, the robot horses, android horses, which I'll stick up there. They are really cool as well. This is like a backpack. And even though it's 118, it looks rather large. Backpack, and what is this? like a book or something it's interesting to see how this will fit on that prospect or other figures okay so let's have a look at the backpack looks pretty cool mm -hmm. scale wise it's a large one but it's okay still works uh to clip on the bottom it's quite a tight clip there we go. You can open up. The backpack is not that big inside. I mean, you could put your book in it and that will come out. But surprisingly small. A little bit disappointing on that. But you still can put stuff in there, which is cool enough. Okay, the straps are fixed. Uh, I will take her existing backpack off, which is the plug push which we're used to and see if she can hold this one though it's going to be rather large i suspect and maybe a bit difficult for her to get in they i'm telling a lie because her shoulders should pop out quite easily there we go now let's get that one in she might be a little bit too broad Ugh. So the issue here is the strap is getting slightly in the way of me pushing her shoulder back in. Okay, so she can have that and it's not going to overbalance her. It does look rather large on her back though, but it has some uses. Maybe for, I was going to say some of your larger figures, but they will struggle to get in it as well, which would be a, which would be a shame, you know, because it would look rather cool as a prop so a little bit disappointed in that but still quite cool nonetheless let me just quickly pop her arm back in again there we go and her backpack okay all right one more of these ones and then i've got to these skull ones are the ones i'm really looking forward to and probably you too if you have similar tastes in toys, action figures, etc. to me. Let's have a look. Uh, this seems to be same as a step ladder, but so like very, very small, single, single uh, layer, not extra legs to add on the bottom. So it's just a very small version. So well, I'd like to have another one, but I guess you could say it's a waste of money. Just buy the big one and you have the extra spare legs, but nonetheless, it's good to have a variety. I want to say a waste of money, it didn't cost that much. You know, these are these are cheap but great stuff.
I put these feet on the wrong around. Oh, there we go. No, so what's going on here? Okay, that's better. Okay, so like the other one, but smaller. Again, it is still rather cool. Okay, now for the ones that I'm really waiting for. Though I'm have to pause the video and do a bit of building with these ones. So rather than being the egg, they have this skull shape here, which is awesome in itself. Have I cut enough plastic here? Have a look. Okay, it's quite a tough plastic on these. Okay, here we go. Ah, so jaw comes off, heart and instructions come out, top opens, because the figure will go in there. That's pretty cool. That's a nice stiff joint as well. And you can take apart two. Huh. And even take this one apart if you wanted. Okay. Let me uh, pause the video, make this, come back and show you. And before that, let me show the different varieties. I should have all four. I think it's four varieties. So it is basically two varieties, just that the color changes, that's all. So you have two silver and two of the brown arms or a hook. And your droid, one of these droids here, you take off his midsection and he can fit inside almost almost like a i guess like um davros the sort of dalek from uh doctor who <laughs> okay let me pause the video get this done i'll be back in a moment okay back in a second okay i'm back and i've done two the two variations in two colors so the one with the hook which comes out of the mouth looks a bit unusual it's taller but doesn't balance quite as well because the feet are smaller looks rather cool there's a little peg in there where I'll put Android on in the moment. The hook is articulated from both ends, as is the skull mouth, and obviously the hook as well. Legs have articulation, and a small bit in the ankles too, which will help you to balance it, I hope. Um, there's also articulation in the hips, which will, go, which will turn, but if you're not careful, they'll pop out. Let's stand up nicely again. There we go. This is rather cool. I do like the control console at the top. This one balances far easier, but you can't make him go quite as tall as him. Uh, but his feet are huge. I like the arms. They just feel just a touch too short, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. They are got up and down. There's a little ball joint in there, and they do open and close on the claws as well, which is rather cool. And again, the jaw does open the tops of the skull. Uh, you don't use, but I think if you close it, they would fit on. Sorry, this would be the top or the bottom? This would be the bottom, because you put the jaw there. Um, okay, so my Android figure I showed earlier, I've taken apart. You can just plop him in here. And now he becomes this sort of controller draw to these i think these look pretty cool now i did see pictures somewhere that they are going to make new releases with maybe a gun or something but you know modifying that yourself to be a gun would be really quite easy so you can add guns if you want but i think this is awesome and you want to get an idea of scale if i use a big figure i'll use a uh in higher injustice 2 swamp thing who's big one well, in scale you can see that it's about the same size as him, and he is massive. I'll put him into these videos up here. So that is really quite cool, and I think it's, you know, I've, I've got like 10 of these blokes and five of these things. It makes for a menacing sort of droid army or something, you know. 
especially with some guns on there. Um, this one's got the better articulation on the lower body. These legs here are joined, so you can twist both round like this. There is a small hip and a small knee and a small ankle as well. Okay, but this has more leg joints. So as I said, you can get far taller on this. But the balance is not quite as good. You could, maybe you could change the feet as well. Let's have a look if that would work. Yeah, you could change the feet over and you could have a much taller one with very, very good balance, which I will probably do for the uh, the leader, as it were, when I get around to doing that. Maybe uh, maybe tomorrow when I get back from work, because yes, I'm working on a Sunday tomorrow. Today's a Saturday. Um, you can do quite a bit of a uh, mix and matching with them. They are really, really rather cool. I like these a lot. I would be tempted to extend those arms too. Uh, maybe do a, a mix and match because there's two arm lamps on these uh, hooks there. Maybe do a mix and match on these and see if I can make the arms longer, a bit more articulation. So rather than being like a little T Rex, these little arms which barely go past the face become a bit more uh, menacing. I'm having a quick look now. That will that pops in there. I'm sure there'll be a way to do it, or you could jerry rig away. I'm sure. Yeah, there'll be a way around doing some, and I'll have a look at that. Maybe tomorrow, if we get time, to get a chance of making a video. Fantastic toys. Uh, again, from Epoch, really, really doing some great stuff here, and I like this. I like their stuff so much. I'll get a few bits here, as you can see, that we've uh, reviewed, looked at today. Really, really great job. So much character in it as well. And it's not just like your little everyday things, which is great you get everyday things. It's the fact they do this sci-fi stuff as well. It really adds, you know, to the uh, 118 variety and stuff that is out there. So this I really do like a lot. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. And I will be back very soon with some more awesome action toy oh, stand up videos for you stay happy and keep collecting okay and please click on the subscribe and on the on the notifications icon bye bye